Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about GRE tunnel. GRE stands for Generic Routing Encapsulation. It is a tunnel over the internet which transmits uh, data in a, a specific tunnel, a logical tunnel over the internet. Suppose we have uh, one branch here and we have another branch. So we want our uh, we want to transmit our data from uh, branch one uh, over the internet to another branch. So on internet, there are many networks and many router present so we don't want our data goes to those routes we want to create our uh, uh, we want to create a tunnel logical tunnel over the internet and we want to transfer the safe data over the internet so uh, so we create a gre tunnel so there are uh, there is an other tunnel the ipsec tunnel in ipsec tunnel ipsec tunnel when data transmit over the ipsec tunnel the data uh, transmit in encapsulated form but only unicast data can be passed through the ipsec tunnel but in gre tunnel data transmit in gre tunnel in plain uh, plain form but uh, it can transmit the multicast information uh, suppose a routing protocol running a uh, routing uh, when a routing protocol running it emits the multicast information from one router to another router there are many network uh, in the routing routing protocol so the routing information is a multicast information. Suppose we have one branch here. So on this branch, we are running uh, OSPF. So we want to uh, emit our OSPF route from this network to this network. So we create a GRE tunnel. So GRE tunnel can uh, transmit this uh, routing information and multicast information through GRE tunnel. But IPsec tunnel can't transmit the multicast information. So this is the advantage of GRE tunnel over IPsec tunnel that a GRE tunnel can transmit multicast information. So, uh, so let's go toward the configuration of GRE tunnel. Here I give the network to these PCs. So you can see here 10.1 is a gateway, and uh, here as well 20.1, 20.2, and here 10.3. Okay. So let's uh, complete first the layer three. Uh, we give the uh, IP address to all the interfaces and and the set a routing protocol. So first of all, we give the uh, information here. So first of all, we give uh, a network on this interface. So we give the IP address interface. So first of all, we go in system view, system view interface, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. IP address would be 192.168.1.1 and 24. Sorry, 10.1, 10.1 and 24. So you can see here there is the network gateway is a 10.1 so on this is 10.1 and on above interface p001 it will be ip address 192.168.1.1 and 24 it will be 1.1 here because this is a one network on this interface we also give the network system view interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and ip address would be 192.168.1.2 and 24 and on above interface on this interface you can see here so ip address would be 192.168.2.1 uh, and 24 okay on this interface on this router uh, system view interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and ip address would be 192.168.2 2.2 and 24. Okay, on this interface, P001, IP address would be 192.168.3.1. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 92.168.3.1 and 24. And on this interface as well, system view interface gigabit Ethernet. This slash zero slash one and IP address would be three dot two one ninety two dot one six eight dot three dot two and twenty four here as well one zero 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 IP address would be one ninety two dot one sixty one ninety two dot one sixty eight one sixty eight dot twenty dot one and twenty four twenty one is a uh, interface address and gateway for these PCs. So you can see here 20.1 okay so now uh, we complete the layer 3 now we set a routing protocol so remember one thing uh, we are when we are using a 
GRE tunnel. So GRE tunnel created from this router to this router, from gateway router to gateway router of another uh, a branch. So uh, we uh, create a GRE tunnel from this interface to this interface over the internet. So we, when we set a routing protocol, so we have to complete the uh, uh, we have to complete the layer from this router to this router. We use a routing protocol between there. So this route, uh, this router reachable through this interface. So when we uh, uh, set a routing protocol in between these router, so these routes will be reachable to each other. Then we set a uh, another routing protocol, uh, uh, which contain this network, which is that and tunnels network and this network. So these three networks. So see how uh, configuration of GRE. Then, so now we set a routing protocol. We set a routing protocol, RIP protocol, which contain only this network, not this network. Network is 192.168.1.0. Zero's network. So this is the network the RIP contain. Okay. Copy. And here as well. RIP. This network and two's network. This router contain two network, which is 1.0 and 2.0 on this network. We also set RIP. Also set 2.0 and 3.0 3.0 this router contain only two network this network and this network so we give the two network RIP. and uh, on this router it only contain this network because uh, we want to create a GRE tunnel so GRE tunnel uh, for GRE tunnel we have to uh, give the reachability from this to here not these two we should not add these two network in routing protocol uh, during the configuration of GRE RIP. So you can see here 3.0. 3.0. Now we ping from here. So okay. Switch uh, ping 192.168.3.2. It will be reachable. So now you can see here from here to here it is reachable. From here to here it will not be reachable. So we can ping. Ping. 192.168.3.2 so it will not be reachable because we do not add this route in any routing protocol so now we go toward the configuration of GRE so from here to here uh, this network is reachable now we set our GRE tunnel between these network a reachable network so the configuration of GRE is first of all we have to create a interface tunnel interface interface tunnel 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, any number of uh, tunnel uh, and then the tunnel ip address uh, what is the ip address of gre tunnel so gre tunnel 192 168 100 0 of tunnel is this 192 100.0 so first of all uh, we create a, a tunnel interface then we set a, a protocol so tunnel protocol what is the tunnel protocol tunnel protocol is gre there are many other tunnel protocol like ipsec protocol and uh, ip uh, v4 to ipv6 protocol these all are the protocols so tunnel protocol here is gre and the ip address what is the ip address of this tunnel 192.168.100.1 from this side okay 100.1 from this side and 100.2 on this side 100.1 and now we give the source ip address source what is the source ip address source ip address will be this physical interface ip address and destination would be this physical ip address so what is the physical IP address source is 192.168.1.1 and the destination would be destination would be 192.168.3.2 here the physical interface is 3.2 so we set a 3.2 so this is the you can see here the notification that the Huawei uh, link state the link protocol IP tunnel interface has been up the, this tunnel interface has been up we set the configuration so here as well we create a tunnel interface so first of all the command is interface tunnel 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the uh, tunnel protocol now we set the tunnel protocol GRE and the IP address of this tunnel is 192.168.100.2 and 24 
now the source ip address what would be the source from here from here the source would be this interface and destination would be this interface so now set the source ip address source would be 192 3.2 would be the source and the destination would be destination would be 192.168.1.1 uh, and okay, 1.1 now you can see the notification has the tunnel interface has been up now we set a uh, another routing protocol uh, which can which contain this network tunnel network and this network because this all this network has been merged to this tunnel and now we use uh, we have only three network one network is this now we act this network as a tunnel so the tunnel contain this network the data from here to here go through this tunnel and bypass all these three network only show this network 100.1 network okay so we set a routing protocol uh, between these two router now this two router has been bypassed so what which protocol we use that's uh, use ospf ospf one area zero and the network are Network is 192.168.10.0's network 0.0.0.255. Okay. And other network is 100.0. Okay. 100.0's network. Okay. Let's copy this and paste from this side. From here, uh, OSPF, F1, area 0. And then we paste this network, 100's network, and 20's network. 20.0 is this network, which is this network. So we use 20. Let's use this again. Uh, 20. 20.0. Okay. We use this 20.0. Okay. Now we uh, set the routing protocol. Let's check is our tunnel is reachable or not. From here now, let's think this. It will be reachable. Yes, it's reachable. Now we uh, think from this PC to this PC, this PC IP address is 20.2. Let's think this uh, thing 192.168.20.2. It will be reachable. Yes, it's reachable. Now we trace route if our uh, tunnel is working or not. Let's trace route. Trace, trace it, trace RT 192.168.20.2. Uh, the meaning of this command is we want to trace our route from which hops and which network our data is transmitting over the internet. So you can see here there are only two hops. One is 10.1, which is this interface, router's gateway, and the second one is tunnel interface. Tunnel interface, the 100.2, which is this interface. The data going from this here to here through this tunnel. Data is physically going from this tunnel. But it's not showing this network because we create a logical tunnel over the internet. So it's only showing the tunnel, tunnel I, uh, network. So it's showing the tunnel, this interface address. And the third one is this PC's address, which we are searching. 120.2. So that's how this tunnel works. So let's check here. Display. Tunnel information, okay. Tunnel information, all let us see. You can see here GRE tunnel. How many GRE tunnel are created? One GRE tunnel is created. Use a command all. So you can see here the GRE tunnel has been created. GRE tunnel ID is the one, and the type is GRE tunnel destination is 3.2. From here, the destination is uh, uh, source is this 1.1 and destination is which interface this 3.2 is a physical interface and the token one this is the other information so that's how GRE tunnel work our data is by passing all these network and going from through this GRE tunnel so this is the advantage of GRE tunnel that all the data, uh, all the network over the internet are bypassed this only show the tunnel and data transfer between the tunnel in safe form so that's it for uh, today's video. If you have any question or confusion, you can ask in comments. So practice again and again, so you will uh, find it easy. So in that video, we will learn about IPsec channel. So that's it. Thank you very much.